Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're gonna take a look at the Line Strider Tarot by Silo, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, Silo Thompson. Um, this has been on my list for a while, finally received it, and then um, it was also requested, so shout out to you. We also have, in another video, I will do the um, Hedge Witch uh, Botanical Oracle by the same author. So. Um, keep a lookout for that as well. So this retails for $29.99 and it's published by Llewellyn. I will link everywhere I know that you can purchase this in the description box. They will not be affiliate links. I am not paid or sponsored for these videos. So um, just know that they're there for you if you fall in love and want to know where to purchase. So let's get to it. Dance between the two worlds to find the answers you seek. Spun with soft strokes of vibrant color and intricate detail, the Line Strider Tarot features gentle yet evocative images that dance on the edge between magic and logic. With grace and innovation, Silo Thompson's captivating minimalistic art will enhance your readings in powerful and profound ways. Line striding is about walking in two worlds, one foot in each to discover guidance. Drawing inspiration from the edge while still moving forward on the fool's journey this Rider Waite Smith based deck helps to uncover the answers you seek about help, love, career, and much more. So, super excited. I already took the liberty to undo the um, plastic wrap inside, so you didn't have to see me struggle. All right, so loving the art here, little box. Hopefully, the lighting is bright enough. Let me adjust it with my camera real fast. Da, 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 da. There we go. All right. And it has a ribbon. Okay. Before we get to the cards, we're going to take a look at the book real fast. Okay. So, has about the deck in which we already kind of um, glided over on the back of the cover or the back of the pa packaging. So I won't really go through all of that. Um, then it says handling the deck, reading the cards and reversed versus negative readings. So then it has some spreads. All right, so three card spread. Okay, and then it has five card spread and then it gives you a lot of information here okay so more information that you can add to your readings and then it goes in to the um, actual card so it has keywords then about it and then correspondences awesome okay so it will give you the astrology it'll give you the numbers and it will give you the associated plants oh, that's exciting Okay, perfect. Let's get into the cards here. All right, here is the back. That is so cool. It reminds me of those Rorschach tests. Is that what they were called? Where, you know, they, they ask you to see what you see in the ink blots. And then back here, if it'll focus and stop going crazy with the lighting. There we go. It'll give you the very faint imagery back there. So that's really cool. All right, let's get into it. I love the simplicity of this. Very much. So it's not giving you the numbers here. It's just giving you the title. It's very interesting. I like the different uses of the color schemes in each card too. This is like your average Llewellyn um, tarot deck, the size, the feel of the card stock. It still feels really good in your hand. Oh, that's really cool. Interesting. OK. 
okay? Yeah, it's really simple and I dig that. Because sometimes you just want a simple, uh, a, a simple image. Oh, wow. Very minimalist, but I love that. So far, I feel like this is a great deck for, um, you know, using it with uh, your clients that don't really know too much about tarot because it's really not that threatening. All right, so we're in the wands now. really sweet. I do like the mix of animals and um, humans. I think that's great. A nice little touch here and there. Interesting. Wow. Loving that the black cat's still there for the Queen of Wands. All right, cups. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's really pretty. I think it could be very beginner friendly as well because the symbolism is there. A lot of the same imagery, just um, done, uh, interpreted a little bit differently is there. So, I mean, I feel like as a beginner, especially with the information in the book, this would be a great deck if you're drawn to it. Oh, that's the cover. It's so pretty. Wow. Yeah, very simple, but it's like so detailed in the same vein, you know? Like it's simple, but super detailed. So what we'll do is after um, we get through looking at the cards, we'll shuffle and see how it goes with that. And I'm pretty sure since it's like most Llewellyn decks, it's going to be amazing to shuffle. And then we'll pull a card and see how it will be read from the guidebook. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. I feel like this can bring out a lot of emotions as well with this art being very minimalistic like this, but then like the color choices, I feel like this can bring out a lot of um, emotions and your intuition can kind of just like run wild. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Love it all. Oh, I do, I do, I do. I love it. I think this is going to be one of the decks that I use for a specific purpose. I love the color schemes. Nice, okay. So that was the flip through part. Let's go ahead and see how it shuffles and focus. 
Thank you. It shuffles, awesome, love it. No complaints. Whoop, user error. All right, let's see this way. Yep, no problems. Oh. So we're gonna read about the emperor there. Okay. Put him there. And so again, there are no numbers. So if you are starting out um, with tarot, uh, it's gonna be a little harder for you to go through the book. You're just going to have to um, find the pictures like I'm doing here. Um, all right, that's the Empress. And then, all right, here's the Emperor. So we have the keywords, leadership, authority, reason, structure, discipline, masculine power, maturity, and stubbornness. The Emperor is the masculine principle, the animus to the anima of the Empress. He is a patriarch and represents the power, or represents power and authority. He is the father figure of the deck, the provider and protector. While other cards like the Empress and the High Priestess urge you to look to the unconscious realm for the answers, the Emperor, like the King of Cups, champions the mind over heart. If you are faced with, the choice, with choices or complex situations, now is the time to draw on your experience, worldly knowledge, and authority. In a reading, this card may be urging you to assume the attitude and confidence of the emperor. In some cases, this card may be telling you that you will be interacting with an emperor and your best course of action is to offer your expertise, authority, and knowledge. These are the qualities the emperor respects and values. In a reading, the emperor often represents a strong, dominant male character in your life. This is especially true if the card manifests in the past position. He could be a father, boss, older brother figure, or teacher who has influenced you in your current path. In a business reading, the cards may be telling you to set aside emotion or concerns about relationships and to focus on the data, facts, and clear analysis of the situation. Organization and discipline are your best assets at this time. Combined with swords, with swords cards, the emperor clearly indicates mind over matter and the necessity of a fact-based approach to upcoming decisions paired with pentacles money matters are the forefront of your life make spending and investing decisions based on facts rather than feelings wands indicate a time for action and decisive aggressive movement have you been contemplating expansion new adventures or investments now is the time to man up and make your move in my mind, this card is most complex when paired with cups. Think about the strong figures in your life and the relationships to one another. Is there a powerful male figure dominating the social atmosphere? Are you the one who is currently in the male dominant role or being called to assume the role and responsibility? Paired with a chariot, be cautious of the price of ambition. Temperance urges balance and a measured approach to even these masculine matters. In reversed aspect, the emperor may indicate abuse of power, a domineering personality, or that someone is behaving in a tyrannical manner. Rigid thinking and over-reliance on, on worldly knowledge may be impairing your progress and harming your relationships. When the emperor appears reversed in a reading, the cards are not urging you to discard logic or structure, but rather to fight to turn the situation back to its positive aspect. This is not the time to rebel or cast off your own authority. It is the time to use structure with calm, understanding logic and discipline to create a better, more fulfilling situation. Correspondences would be the astrology is Aries or Scorpio. Number is four and associated plants are ginger, thistle and atricolades. Atrical loads? Sure. <laughs> so a lot of information, a lot. Um, I am super happy that um, they gave examples for, you know, what cards next to the emperor could possibly mean for that specific reading. Um, I am super stoked about this deck. Um, I think as a beginner, this will be a great learning tool for you. This will be a great... Um, deck for you to even, you know, try out for your first time 
with tarot because of the information in this book. Um, and it is easy to read the imagery as well because it is so simple and focused on the, um, the, the meaning at hand. It's not uh, very um, overly done. So as far as um, reading it as a beginner, I think your intuition can definitely figure out what the meaning is without the book as well. So there's that. The qualities there, I mean, it's your basic Llewellyn deck with, uh, as far as packaging and uh, uh, the cardstock. The book is great. The cardstock's great. Shuffles well. Um, the size is great. I mean, I, I don't really have complaints. I like the back of it a lot. I feel like that's really different and unique. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. I know this deck has been out for a while, so I would really love to know your opinion and what you use it for. Is it something that you use every day or is it something that you only pull out every once in a while or for a specific reason? I would love to know. Um, as far as my recommendation, um, yeah, I would say if you're interested in this deck, go for it. I don't see anything, um, glaringly awful about it. Um, however, you know, this this is my first time viewing all of the cards so we'll see i'll play around with it and i'll definitely be using it in pick a card readings and you know we'll go from there anywho um hopefully you enjoyed this if this helps you out don't forget to let me know down in the comments what you use it for don't forget to leave a like subscribe and hit that notification bell on your way out of the video that way you'll never miss an upload from me Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.